tonight a fascinating story. A woman who lived on Main Street in Pennsburg, Pennsylvania, stands accused of trying to recruit others to wage a holy war in Asia and Europe and to assassinate a Swedish cartoonist accused of insulting Islam. This woman's name is Colleen LaRose. That's her picture. Prosecutors say she called herself Jihad Jane on the Internet sites where she allegedly plotted to kill the cartoonist and where she allegedly conspired to supply material support to terrorists. She's also linked to the site of a radical Muslim group right here in the U.S., and in fact, right here in New York City. One, this is a group that called the 9-11 attacks justified. It's a group that's now supporting Jihad Jane. Drew Griffin actually first introduced us to this group some time back. Tonight, he has a 360 following. It is the website Revolution Muslim. Inside, Drew Griffin. Run by this man, Yunus Abdullah Mohammed, who told us just this past fall terrorizing and intimidating non-Muslims was part of his religion. The Quran says very clearly in the Arabic language, language, torhibuna, this means terrorize them. It's a command from Allah. It says prepare against them what you can to intimidate the believers, the disbelievers, so they don't attack you. It's precautionary preventative measures, like 9-11. No one at Revolution Muslim returned our phone calls today, but on the hate-filled website, there was this, a letter asking for support for Colleen LaRose, declaring another sister has been targeted and asking letters of encouragement be sent to the Federal Detention Center in Philadelphia, where LaRose is being held. Law enforcement sources tell CNN they are troubled that the website and YouTube site have turned even more radical and has seen a jump in subscribers one of the subscribers, Colleen LaRose. They're certainly the most visible face of pro-Al-Qaeda extremism here in the United States. CNN terrorism expert Paul Cruikshank says the fear that counter-terrorism officials have is websites like Revolution Muslim act as go-betweens for those who support terrorism and those willing to carry it out. They don't have to organize all the logistics. They don't have to hook them up with people necessarily. They can whip them up in a frenzy and then sit back and watch what happens. For the liberating ideology that is on Islam. The FBI has told CNN the leaders of Revolution Muslim are under close watch, but agents say its leaders play a game, extending their hatred of America and support of religious violence to certain limits, cleverly using the guarantee of free speech in America as a shield. In October, Yunus Abdullah Mohammed told us Americans will always be a legitimate target, that the attacks of 9-11 were justified, but then insisted nothing, he said, should encourage anyone to commit a violent act. Do you, if you play just read these the Quran, word games just it's not because a word you're game. afraid All you have to do is read the Quran. The police will oh, come after you or the FBI will come I'm after you? I'm not afraid of the police coming after you. I'm not inciting violence. You have to understand, I'm really not calling for violence. I'm calling for Islamic identity. One week after this interview, a Muslim named Major Nidal Hassan walked into a troop processing center at Fort Hood, Texas, and is accused of opening fire, killing 13. Within hours, Revolution Muslim was using its website to praise Hassan as an officer and a gentleman. So, I mean, Drew, do investigators know whether this website was in any way a conduit between LaRose and, and groups overseas? Looking into that, and what, what troubles them the most is this is a gathering point, uh, Anderson, for like-minded people. Uh, based on who this woman was or is in prison now, there's nothing that says she would in any way meet radical Muslims overseas in her life if it wasn't for these virtual meeting places, these virtual websites like Revolution Muslim. And we do know of past cases where people have uh, gone on visited this site, visited the people uh, who uh, uh, produced this site, and have gone on to plot terror here in the United States. How did they, I mean, they, they're preaching outside an actual um, uh, mosque. They don't have a mosque of their own. They're basically just preaching on the streets. H how did they make money? They get donations. They get support online. They get subscriptions. Uh, and I, I, I imagine they also get some money. Uh, from from overseas donations uh, from various various sites. Uh, in, in fact, some of the leaders have told me they get these donations. They're allowed to operate just like anybody else can operate a, a website in the United States. It's, it's fascinating stuff. Disturbing to see it right here on the streets of New York. Uh, Drew, appreciate it. Keep it on. I'm still ahead.